Hey guys, it's Bailey from Makey from the Midwest, and this is going to be a tutorial using NYX's Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. So if you want to see how I do it, let's get into it. First, I am starting off with Lorac's Eye Primer, placing that on my ring finger and using that to blend out all over my eyelids. Then, going into the palette, I am first going to use a light champagne shade, and I'm going to use a flat brush to apply that all over the moving part of my lids. Up next, I'm using the same flat shader brush in a shade that isn't as shimmery, it's more of a soft cream, and I'm using that in my inner corner as well as just beneath my eyebrows to add a little bit of definition there. Next, going in using my Naked 3 brush, the flat side of that, I'm using a soft matte brown to create a very soft cut crease, just starting at the outer corner and working my way up until about the middle of my crease. Then moving into a deep matte black, I'm using that same flat shader and outlining the very outer corner as well as the outer part of that crease. And then I flip that brush over because it is a dual ended brush and I'm using the fluffier edge to blend that out throughout the crease. I also use the flat shader end to softly line my lower lash line. Then I'm going in with a felt tip liner. This is from a trio of liners from Physicians Formula that's new to the drugstore. I plan on having a review of it coming out soon. And I'm just using that to precisely but boldly line my upper lash line, doing a slight flick on either side. And then to finish off the eyes, this is L'Oreal's Voluminous False Fiber Lashes, and I'm just applying that to my upper and lower lashes. For foundation, I'm using CoverGirl's new True Blend foundation, and I'm using a brush from a five-piece Shop Lately synthetic kabuki set that I got. I've used this before, and people have asked me about doing a review on them. I actually had one filmed, edited, and was about to upload it before I saw that they were no longer available, and when I contacted the vendor, they said that they won't be available until the end of March. So let me know in the comment section if you still would like to see this review now, or if you would rather be wait and post it until closer when they are actually going to be available. I'm following my foundation with Hard Candy's Glamouflage Concealer, first placing it using my ring finger in the under eye area, then I go in with a brush to blend it all out. Then so my brows look a little bit more polished, I'm using It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better to fill in the first half and really help define my arch. On to my favorite setting powder. This is by Hourglass. It's their ambient lighting powder in the shade Dim Light, and I use that typically to set my concealer with a fluffy brush. Next, since it's handy, I'm going back into the Butt Naked palette from NYX, and I'm using the soft peach color that comes in it to apply as the blusher, and then I will go in with that same fluffy brush that I use to apply my under eye setting powder, and go into the lightest champagne highlight shade, and apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. And last are the lips. This is Fergie's Vicious Varnish in the shade Voguing Madness. And I recently did a review of these. I was actually trying them out as I filmed this tutorial, but I've since concluded that I do not like the taste of these. You can check out that review for more information, but it's still made for a nice look. And that is all it takes to create this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.